This is an example of solving an energy balance. And in this case, we're going to solve it and set it up uh, uh, analytically and then compare the numeric solution as well. So in a prior video, we, um, you know, we set up this problem. Uh, go ahead and click, uh, click here for the, uh, the prior video um, to solve and, and set up uh, this, this third problem. Um, what we're going to do is also set this up uh, in MATLAB and solve it numerically as well. So from our, our last, um, our last uh, exercise, we showed that this was rho v ccp t minus t naught, our initial t uh, temperature, equals q dot times t. So we have a kettle that contains uh, three liters of water at a temperature of 18 degrees Celsius, and it's placed on an electric stove, begins to boil in four minutes. So we found um, what the average heating rate was um, that was added to the water during this period. But let's say that um, it took 30 seconds for the stove heating element to reach full power. Uh, so if we looked at uh, Q dot versus time, um, you know, it took an initial 30 seconds for it to heat up, and then it leveled off at the, uh, the Q steady state value, what was going to be the time dependent temperature of the water in the kettle? And so for that one as well, if, um, you know, if in the first 30 seconds, then our answer was uh, rho V C C P T minus T naught equals C times T squared over two, where C was equal to the Q steady state value divided by 30 seconds. Okay, so that was our answer if we were in the third, uh, first 30 seconds else, we were going to say that it's going to be rho V C sub P for our water minus T minus T naught equals C 30 squared divided by two plus the heating rate times time. Okay, so that was after, you know, greater than 30 seconds. Okay, so here was um, here's our analytic solution. I just wanted to show this in, in solving it in MATLAB as well. Okay, so we can also solve this uh, numerically in MATLAB. And so let's just go over to our folders, and I'll just show some of the files that are used to uh, calculate this. Um, this is going to be our, our kettle, um, and this was the differential equation that we started with. This was an energy balance. Um, we had gave it an initial condition and then also some of our parameters. We had three kilograms of water, a heat capacity of water, and just started with the initial Q value of zero. Okay, so that was um, the APM file. Um, and if we go to the CSV file, both of these are text files, uh, we had time as one column and then our Q value as another column. And the way we set up this, this Q value just for the ramp, you know, the purposes of the ramp, um, we just put in um, that uh, this was was going to be equal to um, now let's see that was, that was going to be 4.28 times and then this time a3 uh, divided by uh, 30 so we got a fraction of the way there just fill that down to come up with our ramp okay so time versus Q like we saw before is just going to be this um, this ramp up in the first 30 seconds it'll come up to um, that value okay um, I'm not going to save this let me just go and open this up in notepad plus plus as well so here's the CSV this is just comma separated values uh, you don't want to use tab delimited you want to use comma delimited instead so you can see the time and the Q values there as well so I'm going to open up the MATLAB as well, the MATLAB script. Now this is going to take the model file and the data file and then simulate the system. So instead of uh, computing an analytic solution, it's going to use uh, a numerical solution. And so this, um, <clears throat> so in the first lines I just clear the session. In these, these lines I solve the model. So it loads the kettle.apm and kettle.csv and then returns the solution. <clears throat> now here's the analytic solution as well. Here's an if statement of less than 30 seconds. I implemented uh, this. If else, it's going to be equal to that. Okay, and then just plot um, the two results. 
So if I run it, uh, hit F5 or else click the green button, there's my uh, numeric and analytic solution. Okay, so a little bit of error up here, probably just with the uh, linear interpolation <coughs> of the Q value, uh, but overall excellent results for temperature versus time just within the first 120 seconds. So once it gets up to boiling, then we would start to vaporize. Um, and so we don't have the equations for that right here. So if you went out further in time, it'd continue to assume that you're just going to do latent heat of uh, uh, just uh, latent heating. Um, but once you get up to 100 degrees at one atmosphere, it's going to start to boil for the water. Okay, so that's um, that's how do you solve this in in MATLAB? Um, if you need this um, folder, the APM folder, let me just open this back up one more time. So you have to load the APM package within MATLAB and uh, if you want to okay so let me get the script back up um, so just this fourth line uh, right here that's where you load the APM folder and all the functions if you need to get that um, just come to the apmonitor.com website and go to the uh, MATLAB interface and then you can go and download uh, this folder that will contain um, okay just this APM folder right here okay so that concludes uh, this tutorial on solving with MATLAB an energy balance and uh, there are other videos that I've just posted as well that uh, also solve for example a uh, mass balance or a species balance and for the next one we're gonna go back to uh, mass balance. Okay, and I'll go ahead and stop the recording.